It was a humid afternoon when Minister Pundari visited Interoil's refinery just outside Port Moresby. He was greeted by senior managers, including Interoil's corporate executive vice president, Christian Vinson. Beginning his tour, a presentation was first made on the refinery's engineering process and performance, and also their environmental management systems. They included marine and coral reef monitoring, water treatment plants, and upcoming projects such as waste oil interventions and a domestic incinerator. The refinery environmental management and monitoring plan basically monitor on the process units, wastewater, and nearby marine environment. So it is developed in such a way that it, it, it complies to the national standard as well as the inter international standards at uh, the oil refinery. And the minister was then taken on a tour around the 76.8 hectare refinery to see the extent of the refinery's development which is still undergoing. The refinery's state-of-the-art control room was also viewed. Minister Pundari was more than impressed and commended Interoil for their commitment to ensuring environment safe practices are followed and worker safety is of paramount importance. And if the rest of the world have got better environmental management practices in, uh, in refineries like this, I believe the investors of this uh, refinery here are world-class citizens as well. Interoil Corporate Executive Vice President Christian Vinson said the safety and well-being of workers and people in the surrounding communities was crucial. He added within the next decade, the goal was to nationalize the company. At this, this rate of 62 or 66 percent, we want to be 100 percent. Okay, it will take us a little bit of time, but we'll, we'll get there. Minister Pundari thanked Interoil for the tour and pledged more cooperation from his ministry and department. Cedric Pajole, National MTV News.